Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, we saw Hiromi and Miko kiss and embrace each other in the pool. And then they noticed I was here. Uh, what, what, what do I answer? Did I see anything? See what? Mm, I'll go say yes, I did. Uh, 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 yes. He saw it. I feel so embarrassed. Both of them retreat into the changing room. Wow. They're closer now. It looks like they might go on denying those feelings a bit longer, though. Oh. Did I... Oh. Eh, okay. Yeah, I didn't mean to, you know, prolong their feelings. Oh, we're, we're finally here! At the swimming tournament! The long-awaited tournament. There's a lot of strong-looking swimmers here. Oh, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger here! Maybe. Probably not. I don't know. I kind of stand out like a sore thumb among them. Why? But Hiromi and Miko are here. Aw, yay! I feel reassured knowing that they'll be cheering for me when the time comes. Alright! So, how does it feel now that you're here, Keita? Uh, nervous. I don't think I've ever felt this worked up in my entire life. Oh, that's good. That means you care. If you care, then you're going to do your best. That's right. I know what it's like to have anxiety before something big. We were also at a tournament two years ago. Unfortunately, I ended up letting my anxiousness get the better of me. Aww. But that's not going to happen this time. It's not just me who is determined. These two have flames flickering in their eyes. Yes! They're all counting on me. Their passion is burning brightly. While you're out there, remember that we're with you. You can't lose with us by your side. I will not lose. That's right. I think if you don't do this, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. Of course, then I wouldn't be here with you two. And you two wouldn't be my girlfriends anymore. So don't let yourself get distracted. We'll be here for you, as you were for us. I don't doubt that. If my dad forces me to move away from here, I know I'll regret it for the rest of my life. Oh, yep, yep, I would. This swimming tournament, it's more important than ever that I succeed. Yeah! I love you, Keita. But don't you dare lose. So she just outright said it. Miko's about to start stamping her foot again. Uh, how can you be so bold? Come on, Miko, we both know you want to say it too. I... I... I love you too. But you're not allowed to leave. Aww. She nearly faints after she says that. Oh, really? Oh. I... I did it! I said it! She looks really pleased with herself after saying that. Of course! I love you both too. So I promise that I'll succeed. Yes! There's no way that I'm going to fail this swimming tournament. Don't forget about yourselves though. You both better do your best too, okay? Yeah! How could I not do my best today? I'm more fired up than I've ever been for a long time. That's the spirit. All of our years of training are going to go into these few moments. Anyway, the girls event will be on first. Oh. Oh yeah. It, it, I forgot it's, the, it's divided by gender. I can't wait, I'm so excited. Miko can barely contain herself. On the other hand, Hiromi is as calm and collected as ever. I wonder which mindset will be better when they dive into the pool. Hmm. I hope you'll be cheering for us, Keita. Of, of course I will. Why wouldn't I be? I, I don't know. Maybe you'd have some kind of reason not to. What? That, no? Come on, Nico. Now's not the time to get mad at me. You've got to psych yourself up for the competition. I am psyched for it. Just look at me. She looks like a bottle rocket. 
Oh. Yep, I see it right now. Ready to explode at any moment. Oh. Both of them couldn't be more ready if they wanted to be. In all honesty, they're bristling with energy. Oh, it's nearly time to go. R really? We haven't gotten changed. Indeed, we'll talk to you later, Kata. For now, we really need to go. Oh, go! They leave without another word. All I can do for now is take a seat in the stands. It's only a few minutes before all the swimmers line up on the stands. All of them look like seasoned veterans. Hiromi and Miko take their places too. I can't help but notice how they stand out among their competitors. Really? What do you mean? Everyone else looks nervous, unsure. Oh. Those two though, they're extruding confidence. Somehow, I think that they're going to be fine. I think so too. It's coming up to that defining moment now. They're all about to dive in. The show cry of a whistle rings through the air. Oh, they're starting. The race begins. All of them make their dive. There are only two people who I care about in this race though. I know that they'll make it. There's no way that they'll lose this. Not to anyone, especially not each other. Once everyone is in the pool, you can clearly see who's faster than who. Ah, <gasps> is it Hiromi? Those two are neck and neck, just as I thought they would be. All right. They do have some competition though. The other swimmers have undoubtedly been training for this too. One girl in particular seems to be keeping an even pace with both of them. Oh no. Uh oh, all of these years, I think the whole thing holding them back were their own fears. Now that they can face their fears, this tournament isn't going to be any trouble for them at all. All right. Come on, you two can do it. Come on, you two, do your best. I know that you'll win. I hope they can hear me. But they do seem to be swimming even faster than they were before. So they did hear me. That other girl is quickly left behind. Yeah, take that. They must be pushing themselves to their absolute limit. As they continue neck and neck, I find myself anxious for some reason. I'm anticipating the outcome. Which one of these girls will be the one to win the tournament? The entire race. It's just Hiromi and Miko competing with one another. I can only think of the insults they'd be flinging at one another if they were able to. The final lap is rapidly approaching. I think they're getting tired now. Oh, that's not good. They're not as fast as they were when the race started. They're instead opting for a steadier pace. They've still got an unbeatable lead on everyone else though. Oh, nice. That's good. It's more of a question of which of the two will be crowned the winner of the tournament. Oh. Now comes the defining moment of this race. It's the final stretch. Both of them are speeding toward the end. But one question remains. Which one of these two is better? I can feel my heart jumping into my mouth. Who is going to win? I don't know. As I continue to look on, they begin to reach for the end of the pool. This is it. Which one of them will make it? Close my eyes for a moment, waiting for the result. I'm going to say both of them at the same time. I slowly open them and look down. They both touch the end of the pool at the exact same moment. Ah, yes! I was right! Woo! It's a tie! They both equal to one another. That was not the result I was expecting. Both of them have their own unique swimming styles, but in the end, they're equal to each other. Hooray! I guess that's why they'll always be friends. Or Lovers and rivals. As they pull themselves out of the pool, I can hear them complaining to each other. I can't believe it, a tie. I didn't lose to you, Hiromi. I quickly make my way down from the stands to break up their argument. Neither of you lost to each other. That's what a tie is. You're both as good as each other. They both look away from each other and pout. Hmm, not you too, Hiromi. Aww. Aren't you supposed to be the mature one? Are you saying I'm immature, Keda? No, no, I didn't say that. How dare you? She angrily begins to stamp her foot. First I lose the race, now this. But, but you didn't lose the race. This is the worst swimming tournament ever. What? You both won. With a tie. I wanted to win as well. What do we do about our bet now? A uh, bet? What bet? They stop pouting and just look at me sheepishly. 
We made a bet. Whoever wins the tournament would get to take you out on your first date. Oh, you two can take me on, take me out on the first date. Hmm, my first date? That's what this was all about? That's why they're both so angry with one another? We're going to do so many cute things. Aww. I mean, you can still do it. You know, just all of us. But now my plans are ruined. You're not the only one who has ruined plans. I like how no one asked me if I wanted to go out on a date after this. Hmm. <laughs> that would make him even happier than you. Just you wait, Hiromi. He only wants to spend time with me soon enough. We'll see about that. It occurs to me that I don't have much time left to prepare for my race. We'll talk about this later, you two. Oh right, you're about to race. Oh no, we've been wa wasting your time. Both of them begin shoving me towards the starting line. Wait, am I in my, my swim trunks? Hurry up, you've got to win this, Kata. Barrier is not an option. Of, of course not. I'm well aware that it's not. Oh jeez, woo. Before I know it, I've already lined up, shoulder to shoulder with countless others. To stand up there, a strange wave of emotions is crashing through me. What kind of emotions? Anxiety, fear, determination. Oh, you just answered it. All of my training is going to add up to this one moment. You sure bet it will. As I look out to the crowd, I see someone sitting there. Oh, is it the assistant? He wears a black suit with a distinct crest on it. I knew it. My dad sent one of his assistants in his place. I thought he was going to say drone. Someone to report back to him. I won't be able to lie about it. The only way out of this is to win. As I stand there, I can feel my insides churning. I've never been this nervous before. Get calm down. This will be the moment that makes or breaks me. I look towards the stands and see those two smiling back at me. If I don't do it, I'm going to be miserable for the rest of my life. Then you gotta do it. If I don't do it, I'll have to leave them behind. That's not an option. I get myself into my starting position. Every muscle in my body is tensed up. I have to relax a little bit. I'm going to waste all of my energy on worrying if I don't relax. Yeah, I gotta focus on this. Don't focus on anything else. Don't waste that energy. I take a few deep breaths, letting that nervous energy out. I look back to Hiromi, sitting there in the stands with her usual calm look. Deep down, I cannot help but feel her calmness wash over me. Then I look to Miko. She lives life loud, angry and with as much energy as she can muster. Her attitude's rubbing off on me. So long, as long as they're there, watching over me, how could I possibly fail? Yeah! That's the spirit. But now is not the time for idly daydreaming. The judge is now taking his place. Yeah! Can't have a late start. Here it comes. I prepare myself to leap into the water. I will pour all of myself in these few moments. I'm not a failure, and I'm going to prove it. The whistle blows. The moments before I enter the water seem to go in slow motion. <gasps> My technique is perfect. As my fingertips touch the water, it offers me no resistance at all. It's almost as if the water is welcoming me. I cannot help but let a smile form on my face as the water rushes around me. Now, this is where the real pain begins. I have so much that I have to focus on. My breathing must be perfect. My technique must be perfect. I begin surging through the water, moving faster than I think I ever have in my life. My competition is strong, very strong. Even with this pace, I'm barely keeping up with all of them. We'll have to see who tires out first. It's a desperate competition. Everyone seems to be neck and neck. We'll see how these other guys hold up. Second lap now, I'm still maintaining my pace. I think the best thing to do for now is to take it easy. I can feel the strain on my muscles though. Some of them are surging ahead of me too. I can tell. I need to decide what I'm going to do now. Maintain this pace or give it everything I've got. They're starting to tire out now. But one of them is still in front of me. A sign comes from the crowd that I need to start giving it all I've got. Hurry up, you're going to make it, Keda. Don't you dare lose now. The goal is just in front of you. Oh, with this encouragement like that, how could I not? I begin pumping my muscles no matter how much they scream at me. The guy in front of me begins to slow down. He's got a 
bear lead on everyone by now. He thinks he's won this, but I surge ahead of him, taking him by surprise. As he realizes his mistake, he begins to pick up the pace again. Now, it's just a matter of who can make it first. We're, go we're on the final lap. The pain in my body is tearing me apart. My breathing is shallow. I'm barely able to catch my breath. We're practically neck and neck. He's tiring too, still pushing himself as hard as he can. But I have a reason to win this. More than ever, I need to win this. For once in my life, I want an accomplishment that I can call my own. And this will be this accomplishment. We're now at a point which I call the heart heartbreak stretch. It's that last tiny distance you have to cover before you're done. I let out one last burst of energy. This is it. This will be the defining moment. I manage to get a little bit of head ahead of him. I reach out to the finish. The distance feels so long. It's like there's an entire galaxy between me and the finish line. But my hand begins to close the gap. I close my eyes as I reach forward. I... I... I feel my fingers brush against cold concrete. Slowly, I open my eyes. As I look around me, I see that I'm the only one at the end. I... I did it! I did it! I won! I came first place! I hear my competition splashing behind me. He stops shortly after. There's no doubt about it. I've won the swimming tournament! I can hear Hiromi and Nico cheering for me. Bit by bit, I pull myself out of the water. My heart is racing. My arms ache. My lungs are hurting more than I ever thought they could. But I did it. I don't have to transfer now. I practically plop onto my back, trying to get my breath back. The bright blue sky above me seems so nice right now. As I slowly get up, I see Hiromi and Miko rushing towards me. Both of them embrace me in a group hug. You did it, Keda. You won. Oh man, I did win. Oh, you have no idea how proud I am of you right now. Aww, I can't believe that you managed to pull it off. Maybe you aren't as stupid as I think you are. Hey, Miko. I'd complain, but I know that this is about as nice as Miko gets. Thanks, both of you. I couldn't have possibly done this without both of you. You're the best teachers I've ever had. Don't let us take all of the credit. This is something that you did for yourself. We showed you the way, but it was you who pushed yourself down that path. Dang straight! Yeah, don't downplay your own achievements. This is your victory, Keda. Savor it. You're both right. This is ultimately something which I had to do myself. They showed me the way, but it was me who pushed myself in the end. Yeah! Still, I'm so grateful that I met both of you. I don't think I've ever been happier than I am now. They both blush as I say that. Aww. We make you happy? Very happy. It, it was nothing. Just nothing. Stop saying such embarrassing things. Miko can barely handle being complimented by me. Oh wow. This is one of the happiest days of my life. Yeah, because you don't have to transfer anymore. I can say that with no doubt. Oh man. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the tournament. Woo. That was, oh man, that was, oh, exciting. If you, guys, if you guys enjoyed it, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye.